welcome to the Home Inspiration Show brought to you by homeinspirations.co.za. Thank you for joining me, Elle, the DIY enthusiast. The DIY world is now a planet on its own with endless information avenues and projects all right at your fingertips. So there are no more excuses not to go DIY. Homeinspirations.co.za aim at bringing you all the home ideas you need. Home trends, home maintenance, and home improvement information, all in one easy site. So after our DIY project today, click on over there and be inspired. First, let's take a look at our easy, inexpensive, and stylish DIY project for today. It's a DIY box frame and can be done in six easy steps. Isn't it just beautiful? And you can do many different sizes and colors just to suit your taste. Our tools today are sponsored by Webco Tools. Webco Tools is a completely owned South African company offering a wide variety of hand tools and gardening tools. Like this 15 piece mixed drill bit set with titanium masonry and wood drill bits ranging from four, five, six to eight, and even 10 millimeter sizes. Right, the materials that you will need is a picture frame of your choice, taking into account that it has to have a relatively thick frame for the wood backing, and take out the backing and the glass out carefully. Some scrap MDF or pine wood, these are found at your local hardware stores, just go to the scrap section and measure it and make sure it's the right thickness and length that you need. Next, you're gonna need some wood screws. I went with 3.5 times 60 millimeter wood screws, some longer ones, four times 60 millimeter wood screws, some nails just in case, and a size two 25 millimeter drill screw bit. This is a Phillips. Some strong wood glue. Saw tooth hangers. This is for the back of the frame to hang your project on the wall once you've finished. Some wood filler to cut up those ugly nails and screw heads that you're gonna put into your project. And then some spray paint or paint of your choice. I went with this white paint and a sponge paintbrush. The tools required for this project are an electric hand drill, some measuring tape, and a hammer. Don't forget the drill bits. Right, so let's get started and have some DIY fun. But always remember, safety comes first, especially when using power tools. So safety eyewear and hand gloves are essential when using any power tool. Step one, grab the frame of your choice that you'll be using and make sure that you measure all the measurements behind the frame so it fits in with your wood pieces that are aligned to make the box at the back. Step two. Now you take your measurements to your scrap wood pieces. You can either cut them yourself at home or what major hardwares do is they cut it for you. So just make sure you have your measurements handy. And uh, yeah, I've ended up with these wood pieces. Once they have been cut to size, check that they fit your frame. Step three. Now you can start gluing the pieces of wood together to make your box frame. Wait 10 minutes for the wood glue to set and then we will drill in the screws to secure the box all together. Now, this wood glue that I'm using is a Everbuild wood glue, and on the back in the instructions it says it takes about 10 minutes to dry. So, now that I've noticed it's secure and I've taken the excess glue off, we're gonna have to wait 10 minutes for this to dry. It's dry after 10 minutes, and now we are going to do some pilot drill holes for the screws. 
just to keep it really, really secure. So when it's hanging on your wall, it doesn't fall off. Touch me, and then just touch me, till I can get my satisfaction. 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 Well, we don't need the hard hat, that was just for fun. Okay, so I've got my sexy glasses on, and now we're gonna secure what you've glued together with doing some pilot holes for the screws, for the wood screws. I prefer to do pilot holes. You can go ahead and do the screws in with the drill firsthand, but I wanna do pilot holes, it just looks better. Okay, so I'm using a four millimeter drill bit, secured it in my chuck, and now I'm ready to drill, so let's do this. Okay, the pilot hole doesn't need to go deep. We're just gonna put the screws in, these tiny little screws here, which we'll get now. But let me carry on, just one on each side of our box frame. So we've just done the pilot holes, and now what that does is it just guides the screw in better. Okay, so you don't have a wobbly screw everywhere. Right, I have put the Phillips size two 25 millimeter bit into my drill, it's all secure, and that's gonna help screw in our wood screws. Okay, so let's do this. Step five, now that your box is secure, you just wanna hide these ugly pilot holes or nails if you went directly that route with some wood filler. So step six is once you've filled in the wood filler and your box is looking prettier than ever, to make it even more pretty, you can use some sandpaper and sand down any rough edges of the wood that you might see to your perfection and your finishing. But uh, for me, I like it. The more rustic, the better. The only thing left to do is to attach your box frame to your frame of choice and you can then paint it. You can either paint it before when it's like this or paint it when it's on the frame. The choice is yours. Bit, painting your finished frame. Now the box frame is complete and you can put whatever your heart desires inside of it. I have this little guy over here, he's a souvenir from one of my holidays and look how beautifully he is displayed here right in this box. As I said, I only decided to put one layer of paint on because I love the whole rustic feel that this box has. And remember, if you want to put your box frame on a wall, we suggest you use a sawtooth hanger and set it directly in the middle of your box. And remember guys, the bigger the box, the stronger the hanger. I hope that you feel inspired to try this DIY project at home for yourself. You can find the online project and the list of materials and the tools on homeinspirations.co.za. So get clicking. And while you're there, don't forget to check out and register to receive the free Home Inspirations monthly online magazine for home design, building, decor, and DIY articles. Also find Home Inspirations on Facebook for amazing home updates and competitions where you could stand a chance to win hand tools, power tools, and home vouchers. Thank you for joining me, Elle, here at our DIY studio. Join us next time for some more Home Inspirations.